Hi, thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell, like, comment. God bless you. I, I enjoyed your dancing this morning. Yeah, when the men and the women dance together. Because men alone dancing and women alone dancing is not compatible to the church we want to build in the future. Yeah, so let the change begin from here. Yes, because now we can't explain why women dance alone and men dance alone to our young people, can we? Yeah, so if we can't, then we have to start changing. Or when you dance, the Holy Spirit was not too happy. When you dance together, how did you feel? Was he okay? You are sitting together, then why don't you dance together? Yes, so as we move on let's start the changes little by little these are methods and formulas that has worked for us in the past but working for us in the future may be a challenge let us start building tomorrow's church today so god bless all of you uh, but when the old men are dancing and they, you can't follow their pace wait for your turn that's all if you can't follow their slow pace you wait for your turn Apostle Alexander Nanaya Kumilabi, the General Secretary, Apostle Emmanuel Ajiman Bequin, the International Missions Director, members of the Executive Council, Apostle Professor Pokunina retired, our immediate past chairman, Apostle Dr. Michael Kwabna to me, our former chairman, apostles, prophets, evangelists, directors. Our honorable retired ministers, his wives here present, brothers and sisters in the Lord who have joined us virtually, praise the Lord. On behalf of the Executive Council, I welcome you to the opening session of the 2022 Heads Meeting. I praise the Almighty God for the traveling mercies accorded us from far and near. To him be all the glory, even now and forevermore. Amen. Fellow heads, Executive Council acknowledges with gratitude your hard work and leadership you continue to provide in your various jurisdictions. We say God bless you and may he continue to strengthen you with grace as we continue to work together to possess the nation for the Lord our God. As we are all aware, the Hess meeting is an annual fasting, prayer, and teaching program to prepare ourselves spiritually and to strategize for the coming year. While we also intercede for the church and the nations, it is also the period where the theme for the ensuing year is unveiled and discussed under various selected topics. As part of this year's meeting, we shall have some sessions designated for capacity building in leadership. These sessions are meant to enhance our leadership skills. Beloved, some heads who have served God and his church will retire next year. Since this is their last official meeting in active service as heads, May I respectfully invite these gallant soldiers together with their wives to come forward if they are here. And the first person on the list is the man who is a great inspirer for us in our generation. The man who has such strong faith and his faith is so infectious. Somebody who became the head of this church at age 40 and still could manage this church with a lot of strength left in excess to continue his work as a national head. Today, he's not so strong, but he's very active in spirit. With one finger, he is able to write books for the Church of Pentecost. May I humbly ask, that we do that for him and then the rest will follow let us give honor to the one whom anna is doing apostle dr michael kavna into me 
Shall we put our hands together for this great man of God? Few are like him in this planet. Few can be found to be like him in this church. Oh, Lord. Amen. Amen. Please have your seat. We also have Apostle David Tete Tete Tekwe. Please come forward. Let's put our hands together. If the wives are here, please join them. My presiding elder. My presiding elder is retiring. Very good hearted man. He has actually helped my ministry. Apostle Dr. Benjamin Ali, our great teacher, where are you? Let's put our hands together for our dear brother. He has taught many of us, and today he's retiring. May I respectfully ask that we put our hands together for our former International Missions Director, Apostle Emmanuel Jesiado. Great man, great man of God. Yeah. We also have Apostle Kobnata from Ivory Coast. He is not here with us, but let's put our hands together for him. <laughs> Apostle Jones, Ewa Frifa, Ewa Frifa Keteche. Yeah, shall we put our hands together? Mama couldn't join for some reasons. And then we have last but not the least on my list. Apostle Moses Kwame Ahiako. Great man of God. Let's put our hands together for him. May I at this juncture, brothers and sisters, kindly request that we all rise once again to our feet if you can and give our retiring hands a rousing round of applause. <laughs> so brothers, well done. Thank you. Well done. Well done. God <laughs> oh, bless you. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Oh, my presiding. <laughs> God bless you. you. Shall we put our hands together once again? God bless you. You may now take your seat. Now, as we may be aware, this HES meeting marks the last. Apostle Alexander Nanaya Kumila will be attending in his official capacity as the General Secretary. You will bear with me. That he has served this church selflessly and meritoriously in the last nine years. I humbly crave your indulgence. And if you can, may you rise to your feet, even as we appreciate <laughs> our brother.
semshiwa se ofre mi abribiara ere niji bejena so oh sene anodo semshiwa e buso me yejuma the Lord, the one who have so faith, whom you have so faithfully served, bless you. And may he grant you the grace to end your tenor gloriously. And may the years ahead of you be more fruitful. Amen. Now remember, brothers and sisters, that you are representing a constituency and that you are here on behalf of some constituents to receive and transmit to them. Your commitment and concentration in these meetings are therefore critical. May you humbly orient yourself to the fact that you have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, you have come to thousands upon thousands of angels in joyful assembly. To thousands to the church of the firstborn, whose names are written in heaven. You have come to God, the judge of all, to the spirits of the righteous made perfect, to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. May the experience on this mountain bring us a transformation that will make us real agents of transformation. It is my hope and prayer that whatever the Lord has for us will be fully realized and that those who will be handling the various selected topics will deliver with grace, clarity, and simplicity on this note brothers and sisters i officially declare the 2022 health meeting open in the name of god hi thank you for watching our video please subscribe to our channel click on the bell like comment god bless you